Hey folks, I'm Laura Tempest Sackroff. I'm a modern traditional witch, an artist, and an author of such books that you might be familiar with, uh, including We the Liminal, Anatomy of a Witch, and Sigil Witchery. This over here is Gracie doing her morning routine of checking in on the neighborhood. She is doing the work. And I am here to uh, talk about an issue that was brought up by a recent Amazon review. I'm going to see if I can get this up on the screen, but um, I'll at least read it to you, at least part of it to you, is from Amazon user Hot Robot. And uh, actually, I'll just read the whole thing. For the love of God, do not buy this book. I have been super interested in making sigils for a long time, but did not know to start. So I found this book, and OMG, I literally cannot even open the damn thing because of this insane amount of negative energy coming from it. This is going to sound freaking crazy, but I am pretty sensitive to spirits and energies, and I heard literal screaming inside this book. So if you want a haunted and tortured book on your shelf, go for it. Otherwise, don't buy this book. What an amazing review. Amazing. Like, wow. Like, I, I love this. might be my most favorite review. But the, the consequences, perhaps, uh, of this review is now that many of you are writing to me and saying, what the fuck, man? Why is my book not haunted? I don't hear screaming. Um, it, it seems to be very quiet. It just sits on my shelf. Um, it's very useful. It's helped me out a lot, but no haunting. I feel for you. I'm sorry. I am not particularly sure what happened for Hot Robot's book to be so, so haunted. Um, and we could probably look at the backstory of, did it come from a haunted forest? You know, is it, is it in from the trees? Did it have a bad warehouse experience? Uh, is it a used copy? What happened to that? Like, really want to know, like, what is the history of this particular book? But we may never know. So instead, I thought what I could do is help you all out so that you can get your own haunted book. Now, I have made a sigil for you. So, the sigil, it's very simple. It should be drawn in red. Uh, blood if you can, but red Sharpie is the next best thing. As you can see here, it is fairly simple. We have an X shape. Uh, we have three on each side, little triangles, little asterisk in the middle, little arrow, closed dot, and open dot. Just to get that a little closer. There you go, I can work a camera. See, very simple, All right? That's your sigil. This is your haunted screaming sigil. And to haunt your book, what you need to do is three minutes after the full moon, the next full moon, right? Has to be three minutes after. Draw the sigil on the inside cover as well as the back cover. Turn it over 13 times and say, this book is now haunted as fuck. So mode it be. And that could help you have a haunted book. However, just so you know, I am not responsible for the amount of screaming that might come from it. If it doesn't scream, it might haunt you in your dreams. Um, it might fall off the shelf in ominous ways. Um, you know, who knows? But some of you, you really want a haunted book. So I am just trying to help you out. All right. Um, and if your book still isn't haunted after performing this ritual three minutes after the full moon, right, adorning that, you could try drawing it on every single page too. Uh, and that might work. If not, I'm sorry, your book is just not meant to be haunted. So, otherwise, I'm sure there are plenty of non-haunted copies out there. Uh, but, you know, DIY, do it yourself, haunt your own book. Thanks so much. Hope you all have a wonderful Halloween season coming up. Bye.